and I'm gonna pull her with me right here like I'm pulling the lawnmower as I shoot that deep. And now the lock is gonna be. All right, so we're gonna start with an M1 pass. So either she lays back and wants to play, she wants to play back and be uh, like kind of grabby, getting under my leg, you know, all that stuff, like De La Hiva style. Or she can sit up on her butterfly and we're gonna dump her. But either way, I need her on her back to start off with. So get in range, take those feet and walk her forward until she's on her back. Once you've done that, make sure you step into that space so that you can have the inside. So I wanna be one leg in, one leg out, and then I'm gonna squat and grab that hip and the knee, so stay alive. There we go. Get that hip and the knee. So now I'm gonna be low. This, it's a pressure pass sometimes when you do it. Sometimes you just come in and you just like pop and you go, right? But if is trying to get wild and trying to like acting like she might wanna stand up sometimes on me, then I gotta st start putting some weight on her. So as I come in and I start to split, you feel what I'm talking about? Like it's a pressure pass now. So now as we start to move, I can make that move big and quick and she's turning in already and I'm gone. Down. I step into that space and control her with some pressure here. See, I'm on my toes now. Now I'm using this elbow to keep her open over here. You feel like the weight is splitting you open. Makes you want to push and do something. Pop, pop, and she's already up. And I'm gone. You guys got that part? All right, so we'll work on that more today, but I really want to focus on that little part uh, while you're doing your your flow. Give attention to that part specifically. You're gonna do darces all month, but don't skip out on the passing part because it's really important. Now she's turning up this way. I'm gonna go to the head like I'm doing an anaconda or a guillotine. See how she takes the leg? When, she, when I feel that she's coming up and going to her knees, taking the leg, then I'm gonna put that behind me. I'm gonna sink into the hole and I'm gonna pull her with me right here like I'm pulling the lawnmower. As I shoot that deep. And now the lock is gonna be easy. Super easy. She's already turning up. Oh god, her, here she comes. Ready? One, two, three. Oh no. When I sprawl and cut, look, I don't want to go deep like I'm locking too early or like I'm just going to hold this position or whatever. She's going to grab my wrist and start to peel this thing apart. Go ahead. And now I can, I, look, I can hold on to her right here when this happens sometimes. So you see how I don't hold the neck, I palm the head to get the lever. Um, Feel the difference. Posture up right there. I'm gonna hold you. Posture up. <laughs> He's picking me up off the ground. Uh, okay, now I'm barely holding you, yeah? Posture uh -huh. up. It's a tremendous difference. Mm -hmm. So, here to here. But I, I don't like this because I don't want her to put her hand on me and start to peel it apart. Because now, go ahead and do that. As she starts to even make a little space, her elbow's gonna pop across to the other side of my hip. And I'm gonna start to, un it's gonna kind of unwind potentially against a better player. So I don't like this deep grip where she can access this hand. I'm going right there. So it's my wrist bone right here. The same thing like if I was gonna buccaneer, cut the throat right there, same thing, right there. And now I'll pull, go back to your turtle a little bit. Like all the way up to your turtle. Mm -hmm. So once I dive under, I pull, look at this step while I make. I pull her into that hole with that grip right there. And then I never show her the hand. I walk the grip this way. So she never sees the hand that way. Does that make sense? All right, ready? One, two, three. So when I slide off, if she stays on her, so she's gonna like fight to stay on her knees here. I'm gonna be trying to pull. That's the time for walking this back. And see, I bring her to her hip. She didn't want to go to her hip but I put her on her hip. You guys understand that? Versus 
She goes to her hip. Go to your hip. I follow her. And finish. You got it? Because if she... Rewind. If she goes to her hip, I'm not... I don't have the right angle for the squeeze that I want. I, look, I gotta... She's got a little neck. I'm gonna eat her alive right here. But if it was, was Bruce, I wouldn't be able... Like with Bruce or Mike and those guys... I can't lock it correctly from right here. All right, so go back. Uh, hey, actually, let me use my... We were already doing this. So he was saying that, hey, Evan's having trouble locking this thing. What's going on? So look, what Mike was doing is as I rolled, he was hitting his hip. You see where the momentum's carrying him? If he hits his hip right there and I try to stay here and lock it, you feel like it's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. So rewind just a bit. So as I slide through and he goes to his hip, I chase him over. And then you can stop it. Now you're super deep. Now you're ultra deep. But if we go here, he stays on his, like he stays up, like he's trying to keep his base put together. That's when you start getting deep on him this way. I put him on his hip is, a, is the reaction that we're playing. If he touches his hip first, follow through. So just real simple, nice and slow. If your hip goes first, look, I go over the shoulder. I just follow him. Stuff, deepen, slide, murder. Ready? One, two, three. Start pulling back. Pull back, 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 pull back. 